Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna do a really unique set of tones. We're gonna be building ambient guitar or experimental guitar tones. So think a lot of reverb, uh, and we're just gonna have a little bit of a little bit of fun and get a little weird on this episode. So before we get going, here is a, a clip of me playing through the tone that we built. Now, let's jump into how I built it. All right, so for gear today, I'm playing through my uh, Strandberg Saline, my Headless Tedley, and the goal is to kind of replicate some spacey guitar tones that you may hear in, uh, if you listen to any type of experimental music, or really like worship guys do this really well. Uh, I was doing a lot of research into how to craft these tones and that genre of guitar playing kept coming up. But I, I like doing this for, think about basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna replicate a pad that you would get from like a synthesizer. Um, and we'll have it with a loop so we can get a little weird on it. But anyways, let's start out. So the first thing I do is increase my preset volume. The second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a really good clean amp I was debating using the JC120 for this, but I use that for everything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a deluxe reverb with the amp only, because we're gonna use our own reverb. And we're gonna go ahead and add a cab. We'll do, yeah, 65 deluxe. Um, I think for this, I'm gonna use a 7MB, put it on the cone. <laughs> All right, I'm putting it on the cone. Uh, it's cutting out some of the harsh high ends and just leaving like a really good mid sound. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put on a high cut filter. I like to cut down to about eight two, eight three. Yeah, that's a good deluxe tone. All right, let's take a look at the deluxe itself. We're gonna boost volume up just to five. I'm gonna pull back my treble, push my my low end. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm playing a single coil Telecaster style guitar that is already pretty bright. So I'm just giving it a little bit of warmth with these settings. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, what I want to have is two reverbs. So we're gonna go ahead and dial in the first reverb, which is gonna be a little bit more crazy than the second one I'm gonna do. But we're gonna start off, um, you can do the Nebula too, but I'm gonna do the Celestial reverb first. So you have two pitches you can do, just stock so you can hear it. You can hear it's got some weird stuff going on. That's because I was messing with the, the pitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this pitch at zero. This is what gives it that high end shimmer. And I'm going to pull the second pitch all the way down. We're also going to pull our high cut about so. Pitch decay, we're going to bring it up to unity. And then our actual decay, we're going to do the same. So now let's hear it. So... Even though this is kind of labeled as a celestial, which typically means uh, we are going to have like some type of high-end shimmer, I just find that that can be a little much, and it kind of gives it like a metallic sound that can be unpleasant to the ear and can be hard to tame. So I just cut it out, and I'm just using it for its reverb capability. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting there. All right, so the the other thing I'm going to add is I'm going to put a reverb right in front of it. And what I'm going to simulate is imagine that we're in like this large hall and nobody's there. So I don't know if you know this, but if you play live, you're whenever you do a sound check with no one there, it's going to sound completely different when all the meat sponges are there, aka the audience. So we're going to replicate that by using a small hall reverb first. <laughs> That's so good. I'm not even changing any of the settings on this. This is just, the small hall, hall reverb is really good. 
All right, so another thing we're going to add in is uh, we're going to need some delay. Or, you know what, first, let's do this. We're going to go to Effects, and we're going to do Dynamics, and we're going to grab the Studio Compressor. I guess you could also use a Sustain. Let's do that. I haven't used a Sustain yet, so let's see. That's so cool. Dang, that is, that's awesome. All right, so let's do, we're gonna just go ahead and get a, um, we're gonna throw on uh, Overdrive just for if we wanna do any type of leads. I'm gonna use the Klon. This is what I've been using the most lately. And, and I just really enjoy it because it, it's not, a, it's a subtle Overdrive. So it replicates whenever you get uh, a tube amp cranked and you're getting right to the edge of breakup, that's what this overdrive pedal does. So it's very, it's a very tone sweetener in a, in a sense. I didn't even change anything about this. Yeah, <laughs> that is so cool. Um, all right, now we're gonna get into some of uh, the more interesting pedals on this unit. So one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the auto swells pedal, auto swell volume. We're going to try it up here and see how what the difference is. So again, this may not be a pedal that's going to be on the whole time, but this is going to be a really useful pedal to have on the board because this allows us to act like, I don't know, to, to my ear, this almost makes the guitar sound like a group of violins who have really good control over their dynamics. Or you can think of it as like pads on the synthesizer. So. Here, let me get the looper going and we'll just loop on it so you can hear what my ear hears I could use it for.
Yeah, so hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can use that pedal. This one does cut the volume quite a bit, but you could, if you wanted to fix that, just fix your time and maybe increase your sense. Um, but really the time is the biggest thing because I'm making it where if you like write out music, it's basically doing a crescendo of the volume and I'm making the crescendo slow. So if you want it faster, just increase the time or decrease the time. All right, now we need to add in a good delay. So I'm gonna do my delay post amp because this is in the modeling world and we can do this easily. So, and I don't want my delay hitting the amp. Let's do a ping pong delay. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I didn't even change anything on here. It just sounded great as is. Oh, let's do, let's do some tremolo. Uh, two bias tremolo. I want like a, and I'll probably put this right here. Yeah. Dude, that, that is so cool. That is ridiculous. Uh, and then we'll we'll do buttons for everything, and we'll make it a preset. So uh, let me let me just take a look, see what else we got. I mean, this is the power of the Tone Master Pro. You can really add in some crazy stuff. What's an Octobot? So there's our octave thing, but I think there's a there's should be a different one. I've seen another one on here. Let me see. Because someone was asking about the virtual capo. There's no virtual capo right now, but there is a monophonic shifter. And that's what this is. Monophonic meaning it is just a uh it is just one octave or one note. Uh okay, so this is twelve hundred cents, so there should be two octaves. <laughs> chords that well. But let me give you an idea of what you could do with this. Um, say that you're doing like a solo show as a guitarist and you're doing stuff like uh, Tosh Sultana where you're just kind of looping. You could use this as like a bass.
That's kind of cool. I'm glad I got that recorded so I can actually check that out. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to use this for a bass. And uh, all I did was I just killed it in the mix, and I dropped it down by two octaves, putting it in the bass line. So, all right, now what we're going to do, I'm going to leave it this. This will be my ambient guitar rig, and I'll, I'll have this uploaded in the cloud so you'll be able to download it. But what we're going to do, oh, first, let me, this is kind of a bug with the Tone Master Pro right now. So before you start assigning pedals to things, you need to go in and have everything on your board active. If it's not active, then whenever you go to program it, it basically programs whatever state it's in. So now let's go in a foot switch assign on off. So this will be my drive. I think it, the sustainer is going to be my always on pedal for for this. We're going to make it orange and we're going to call it um, drive. All right. So our drive is on. We'll have our auto swell here. We'll keep it red. We'll call it yep, volume swell. Swell volume. Um, for this, I'm going to call it bass. So if you're watching, that'll be your bass. We're going to make it purple. This will be our tremolo. We'll make tremolo cyan. Trem low. We'll make this our delay. We'll put the color as, I guess we already have a, yeah, we'll do that. We'll just call it delay. Um, we'll probably never want to do this, but just in case, uh, that way anybody who downloads this, they'll have access to really be able to control it at their feet. So that'll be the small hall, and then we'll do the celestial, and we'll also make this purple. Um, and I don't think we'll ever want to turn off our our uh, our sustain, but you know what? There might be someone out there watching this who's like, man, that would be cool to just be able to control everything with my feet. So we'll do that. We'll call it sustain. Yep. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this to the cloud. Oh, actually, let me get it set up so whoever downloads it. All right. So let me see what we're going to do. Oh, here's everything on. Let's go ahead and decrease the time on this. Okay, so now we're going to save it. We're going to call it um, ambient guitar. And let's also, we're going to go ahead and upload it to the cloud. Artist name, Tizami. All right, and with all of my presets, if you want to download anything of mine, if you come in here and you type in Damien Andy, you can see all of my rigs on here. So you can download them straight to your, your Tone Master Pro and then tweak it to your guitar because all of these, you'll see all of the ones that I've built so far, they're made for my guitars. Um, and so even if I, if I were to change guitars, for example, like the way that this guitar reacts to the deluxe reverb is different than, say, my Les Paul. So if I grab my Les Paul out, then I would want to dial in this amp to that guitar. So just know if you download it, if it doesn't sound right to your guitar, just EQ the amp. It's easy. Well, that's going to conclude today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, like this video, and leave me a comment. Let me know one or two things you're grateful for and one or two things that you learned on this video. I'm grateful you guys are here. I've been learning a ton about building really cool tones by just interacting with you guys in the community, so thank you. I'm really appreciative. If you're interested in studying with me in a greater detail, consider checking out my Patreon. It's $5 a month. The link is in the bio. And there's, a, I mean, there's over 64 different articles published over there, so there's a ton of content for you guys to explore, and I've got some more coming. If you have any questions about using the Tone Master Pro or have any suggestions for what tone I should build next, leave me a comment, and I'll check it out. And with that, thank you guys so much, and have a great day.